Hi, this is Jim Mann with Homestyle Southern Cooking. Welcome back. Today we're going to do something that everybody has been asking me for. We're going to make a pie crust. Now, I know there are a hundred different pie crusts out there, and I look at them sometime and I think, oh my goodness, this is too much work. Some of them are telling me that you have to freeze the butter and put it in a food processor. Then you have to wrap the dough up and put it in the refrigerator for an hour, and it just goes on and on and on. It's just it's too complicated. So... This pie crust, with the holidays coming up and fall of the year, you won't believe how simple it is. So let's get started right away. I'm going to put two cups of flour in here. Level off my cup so I make sure I get the right amount. As one. Well, there's two. Two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to set this to the side and set this to the side. To that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So, so far all we have is salt, sugar, and we have the flour. Now, I have got one half cup of oil here, vegetable oil, and one fourth cup of milk. What I'm going to do in a separate container, I'm going to pour my oil into it, set that aside, then I'm going to pour my milk into it. I'm not going to mix them together, I'm going to keep them just like that unmixed. I'm going to stir my dry ingredients together, make sure I get the salt and the sugar stirred up in it a little bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to pour the wet ingredients right into the flour. And that's it, my friends. We're going to start and we're just going to start until this comes starts coming together. You will not believe how simple this is going to be. Um, and like I said, there are some recipes that call for all these special things you have to do and cutting in butter and cutting and shortening and special equipments and special tools and knives that you have to cross and everything. It's, um, it's just too much work. Just blend this up really good, see if I can get all the moisture into as much of the flour as I can. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, you don't have to have this. I ordered this uh, some time ago because it helps me because I do so much cooking and baking. If you don't have a pastry mat, that's no problem. If you don't have a pastry mat, all you need is a piece of wax paper two pieces of wax paper. I'm going to put my pastry mat down and I'm going to spray it. Then I'm going to take my dough, so to get it together a little bit. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. Then I'm going to take some wax paper. I'm going to cut a piece of wax paper. Put it right on top of it. I get my trusty rolling pin out. And I just sort of hit it. Then like I said, I'm going to start rolling it down. Rolling it out. And like I said, if you don't have a pastry mat, that's fine. You can use two pieces of, of uh, wax paper. All I use the pastry mat for is sort of gives me a guideline of, of what size uh, pie plate I'm using. And 
And you can see this is a really simple pie to make. You don't have to do all that crazy of cutting in and freezing butter and doing all the other things that, that uh, they ask you to do on some pie recipes. The good thing about this recipe too, if you if you find it places like if it doesn't look completely round like right here, it looks a little easy. Any that you have access, you can pull off the sides, and you can just add it over there, and roll over top of it, and it just smooths it right out. So um, it's a very pliable, easy easy pie crust to work with. Now let me get my pie crust, my pie dish, and let me see. And so that looks like it's going to fit it just perfect. So what I'm going to do, put this over here. I will take up my paper. I will take my pie plate and we'll put it right on top where I think I want my crust to be. Now, I gently take my hand, put it underneath here, and flip it real quickly. And bingo, your pie crust is in there. All you want to do now is shape it and get it down into the, to the pie plate. When you get it down so it fits into the, all around the edges. And also, if it's Too thick on any side, you can cut some of it off. Just sort of go around and trim it a little bit. And you want to save this trimming because if any places you need to fill in, you can fill in with this, this extra dough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around the edges and I'm just going to turn this under and make like a little ridge is what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it under and make a little ridge. We'll go all the way around the pie. Fold the bottom, which hang it over, under, make a little ridge all the way around. I hope you all can see what I'm doing there. Now, so if you come to a little place like this and it needs a little bit more, that's where you can easily take a little piece of dough, push it in, make a little ridge, and you can't tell where it was. So just keep on going around here and making my little ridge all the way around. Okay. After I make my little ridge, I'm going to take these two fingers and this finger. Now, and I know some people use a fork. Some people have pie cr uh, crimpers. But I take these and I just push these, take my two fingers and push them in. This is this way that my, my grandmothers and my mother and they've always done it. So now, of course, I wouldn't be doing this if I was going to put a top on it, if I was going to put a top on it. I'd wait to do this until after I had the top on it. But since I'm going to probably use this pie shell for like a pumpkin pie or a pecan pie or a lemon meringue pie or some type of pie, I'm going to leave, I'm going to go ahead and do, fix the outside crust. Just pinch it in and push your finger in until you get all the way around. And there we go. There's your pie crust. It's a simple, simple pie crust. It's easy to make. It's ready to bake now. You can either put, like I said, either put a pie in there like a pumpkin pie or, or chocolate cream pie, whatever you want to. If you want to make a, an apple pie, then I would make another crust and I'd put that on the top. Or you could cut it out and do lattice work on it. But that's a very simple pie to make for this time of the year. It's such an easy pie. 
and you saw it's only got a few ingredients. So I hope you'll try it and let me know that you like it. Please follow me on Facebook. Uh, I'm so glad I got to spend time with you today and got to share this pie recipe with you. Um, if you're enjoying these, I'm doing these almost daily. Uh, please hit subscribe so I know that, that you are enjoying them and liking them. I love spending this time with you, and I know that I'm coming into your house, wherever you may be, and spending time with you and showing you these. I feel like, I feel like you're standing right there, and, I, and, and you're my friend, and I'm telling you how to do this step by step. Um, at least that's how I feel. So I'm so glad you were here. Until next time, I'm Jim Mann in Mexico saying take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, and God bless.